What's going on? Today I'm going to be building a Christmas village down in this grove biome with you guys. Now before we get into this one, if you do end up enjoying it, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. It really helps me out a lot and it's completely free. But anyway, as I said, this entire grove biome here in this valley is going to be turned into a Christmas village. And as you may already be able to tell, this is in 1.18, so we do have these really nice mountain biomes completely surrounding this area. Now before we can get started on building this guy up, we do need a plan, so I am going to start off this build by completely clearing out all of these trees and then laying out a plan so that we can actually get building. So I've got this guy planned out a little bit, and I know the plan looks pretty basic and there really isn't much going on but that is mostly because i haven't planned out any of the houses or shops yet so going over this plan up here is where santa's house is going to go so it is going to be up on this ledge here and i think it's going to look amazing up here it is up off the ground a little bit and i do have this pathway going up there so i am pretty excited to see how this one ends up turning out then right here with this big circle this is going to be where the big christmas tree is going to go and i do like how centralized it is in this village i think it is going to be great and it is going to be going way up into the sky and it is already elevated up off the ground as it is so it's going to be way up there and then over here this big structure is going to be the toy shop and i know this is a little bit small for the toy shop but we don't have a whole lot of area to work with in this valley here so i can't really make it super big and it's going to have to be this size and then as you can probably see i have the pathways going around this entire thing denoted by the cobblestone here and in a few spots like right here and probably over here as well i am going to have these sort of squares i guess is what they would be and around these squares i am probably going to have just shops so there's not going to be any houses over on this side of the village it's just going to be shops and then the houses i will dot in like probably some over here over here up here and just all over the rest of this village is where all of the houses are going to be but then down here again is just going to be shops so with this christmas village all planned out i think we are ready to start building so i'm probably going to start off by building the pathways maybe i'll see how that goes starting off with the pathways i may end up building these structures first and then putting in the pathways but right now i'm probably going to start with the pathways and then build in the other structures and while that is happening i'm probably just going to have some music in the background i'm not sure yet i may do a little bit of a voiceover we'll see but anyway i'm going to get started on building this guy up and i'll see you guys once it's done
And just like that, it is done. And I am very happy with how this Christmas village turned out. I think it looks amazing. And for these houses, I was really going for that gingerbread house aesthetic. And I think it turned out really good. And right now, I am using the BSL shaders because I think they look so much better at night than the prismarine shaders that I was using previously. But to give you guys a little bit of a walkthrough, up here I have a few houses and there's a little pond here that I put in as well and of course it is frozen because it is really cold out here. And I did make some of these candy canes all over the place and it took me quite a while to come up with this design actually and I am pretty happy with the end result but it did take me quite a while to get to that one. Anyway, going up this pathway here, it takes us to the Christmas tree. And I was hoping that this guy would be a little bit taller, but when I made it, I thought I made it pretty tall, but it doesn't look super tall. Not as tall as I wanted it to be. It still looks pretty tall, but it wasn't quite as big as I was hoping. But it still looks really good regardless, and I still think this is honestly probably the best Christmas tree I've made in Minecraft so far. And then just on the other side of this tree from that pathway, we have another pathway here that is a little bit covered in snow, so I'll clear this off really quick. And this guy just comes down here to where the toy shop is, and I... Unfortunately, didn't get around to doing the interiors before I get a bunch of comments asking me to show off the interiors. And then this pathway kind of splits off and goes to a few more houses up there. And then down here, it goes back to the shop area. So down here, of course, we have these sort of square areas. It really just ended up being a wider portion of the pathway rather than a square. But, of course, we do have a few shops around here, and some of the shops do have these, what are supposed to be, sign things. And that's about as good as you can get in Minecraft. And then over here, we, of course, have a few more shops. And for this sign, I decided to use some chains to hang it instead of fences. And I think it looks really good with that. And then if we come back up here, there is this much bigger frozen pond than the other one you saw earlier. And this one is supposed to be more of like the ice skating pond. So there would be some ice skating that goes on here, which is why there's a bunch of lights going over it. And there's a few benches around here as well. So this is kind of where the ice skating would happen in this village. And then over here next to the toy shop, we again have a few more houses here, and I think they look really good. And then going on top of that hill there, of course, that is where Santa's house is. And it's not as big as I was hoping it would be. It's a little bit small, and it's not as grand as I would have liked it to be, but... It does overlook the entire village, as you can see, and I really like that about this house. It is up on the hill, and it's overlooking everything, and you get a nice view of all of this stuff, so I do like that about it. But it's just not quite as grand as I was hoping it would be. But it still looks really good. And I, of course, have to show you guys what this place looks like while it is snowing. And unfortunately, it does collect on the pathways here, so I will have to be a little bit quick about this so I don't get too much snow on the pathways. But I really just kind of wanted to show off this place while it is snowing, and I think it looks amazing. I really like the vibes of this place while it's snowing. It just makes everything come together, and it really gives off that wintry Christmas vibe. But that is going to be it for this Christmas village. I think it turned out amazing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And of course, if you did enjoy it, do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. But that is going to be it for this one. So don't forget to have a very Merry Christmas.